When this Navy nurse witnessed fatigue among her staff, she searched for a way to lift their spirits, not once, not twice, but every single day. Enter facility therapy dog, Angus. He perks up staffers by spreading joy everywhere he goes. On today's Dogs of Destiny. soul, but he's got a very goofy personality. Angus's favorite part of his day is going to the coffee shop at work. And he discovered cappuccinos there, which is basically whipped cream in a cup. He's kind of obsessed about it. So he does get one, and only one, and it's a very small amount. And it, it really does make his day. I need my morning coffee too, so I get it. I am a nurse. My godmother was a nurse, my mother was a nurse, and I thought to myself, wouldn't it be nice to have a, a career where you're always gonna have a job, and oh, by the way, you're gonna be helping people in that job. I was stationed at National Naval Medical Center, Bethesda back in 2009, kind of at the height of the rebuilding of troops in Afghanistan. And we had facility therapy dogs at Bethesda. We were taking care of a lot of young, wounded guys that had devastating injuries. There was a lot of caregiver fatigue, if you will. So those dogs were instrumental in staff resilience. Fast forward to my job in San Diego, I was the department head for critical care. And this is circa 2017. We had just some really sad cases in our ICU. It took its toll on the staff. The nurses were tired, the corpsmen were tired. And I thought to myself, what can I do for my staff to support them? You know, I can buy them pizza for lunch. I can, you know, cheerlead them on as much as I can, but what can I really do for them? The hospital had volunteers that would bring their dogs in and it would completely change like the milieu of the ICU. And I thought, we need a dog. We need a dog. So I remembered about Southeastern Guide Dogs. I knew that they were well respected. I knew that they were internationally and nationally recognized for the work they do. I applied. I told them why I need the dog. It was for staff resilience. And waited a couple months and then Angus came. You want to go for a walk? My heart was happy. I just remember him walking up to me and thinking, oh my gosh, he's a handsome fella, big boy. And I just immediately fell in love with his personality. He's just a big goofball. He was very much welcome and immediately became part of the team. We actually attempted a study in San Diego where we had a group of people come in, we talked to them about their day, how things were going, and they did like a quick survey. And then they interacted with the facility dogs. After they interacted with the dogs for 10, 15, 20 minutes, we asked the same questions. And it was, it, I'm getting chills thinking about it, the way that they talked about how it changed their day, just that 10 minute interaction. Angus absolutely brought so much joy to that hospital. I received orders to the Bureau of Medicine and Surgery here in Falls Church, Virginia. And I knew I had to make sure I could bring Angus to work. That was very important. So Angus and I came in June of 2019. Angus's job is very similar to what it was in San Diego, except for we're not in a hospital. We're in an administrative building. He likes to take a morning nap. He'll relax. And then about nine o'clock, he'll come to life and let me know it's time to go visit. Angus, come. And we'll get his uniform on. Yeah, boy. All right, bud, let's go. He's got some people that he has to see every day. 
we do morning rounds, we can do afternoon rounds, but typically he will be in different places of the building with other people. He's not with me. And he's in their workspace, interacting with them, relaxing with them, and just kind of giving them that therapeutic touch that they need. How are you doing? Oh, Let's see the boss next. He loves people more than anything. Hey, Angus, what are you doing here? Did you come to see me today? Yes, he's a good boy. Go visit, go. There's a lot of administrative burden that people don't realize. It's difficult sometimes you are sitting at a computer most of your day and just interacting with your computer and your telephone. High five. Yeah, good job. Yeah. As soon as they interact with them, they're like, oh my gosh, my day is so much better. The mood's lighter. You know, you can hear them talking to him. Hi, bud. How are you? People are down on the floor patting him. He just brings down the temperature of the room, the stress in the room. Such a happy boy. Yes, you are. Sometimes, especially with COVID now, caregivers are tired. They're tired, they are not just physically tired, they're emotionally tired. Anyone that, that's a dog lover or knows dogs knows that that just, it changes you. And I really feel strongly that these dogs are a huge resource in the hospital, in any workspace for the staff. Angus has a replacement at San Diego now. People knew he was leaving and they weren't okay with that. They liked, having, they liked having that dog in the workplace, so his sister is there. And there's a legacy, which I'm very proud of. You ready to go visit? Angus, gosh, he brings so much joy. I can't even imagine not having him in my life. He really has changed my life for the better. you bear I'm here to carry the weight you can count on me you can count on me ready and willing whenever you need I'll gladly follow where I'll take the lead count on me View every episode of Dogs of Destiny at guidedogs.org slash dogs of destiny.